When a security dog identified a suspicious suitcase in an airport, officials decided they were going to inspect it. However, what they saw when they opened it up shocked them beyond all belief. Manila Airport, or Nino Aquino International Airport as it is properly known, had first opened in 1948. Back then, it was a small and unsubstantial airport, but over the years, it had grown into something huge and expansive. The reason why is that the airport sees 2.5 million passengers per year in its international wing and 5 million in its domestic wing. That means that there are a lot of people making their way through the various terminals and concourses. With the possibility of crime or illegal activities constantly present, all of these people and their luggage have to be vetted and supervised 24 hours per day, 7 days a week. For a security officer, working in an airport definitely had its ups and downs, no pun intended. Things could go for weeks on end when nothing interesting or exciting would happen. You'd just see a stream of endless faces going on vacation and then coming back again. All of their luggage carried the usual, mundane, essential stuff that one would normally take when traveling. And as such, there was absolutely nothing exciting about any of it. Manny was one such security officer. He had been doing the job for over 30 years, and he had seen it all. Yes, there were the usual lulls where nothing interesting would happen, but in a way, Manny was grateful for those moments. They meant that nothing was going wrong and there wasn't any danger. But sometimes, things weren't always so quiet. In fact, Manny had seen all kinds of things while working the job. He had seen people trying to smuggle drugs into and out of the country. Similarly, he had found large wads of cash that people were illegally trying to transfer between places. Many had thwarted plots, stopped fleeing suspects, and even tackled and fought uncooperative and vicious passengers. There were definitely risks to Manny's job, but it was one that he cherished. He knew that he was making a difference and keeping Manila Airport, and by extension, other airports around the world safe. But one man couldn't do everything. In fact, a whole team couldn't properly supervise the numbers of passengers and luggage that went through the airport each and every day. That's why they employed the use of several highly trained dogs. These dogs were taught how to sniff out drugs and other illegal substances and lead their handlers to the person or luggage that they detected them on. The person would be searched and the luggage would be inspected. They identified a person or item of luggage in a very clear and direct way. The usually active and excitable dogs would freeze and then sit and point their noses at the person or luggage in question. This would then alert the handlers as to exactly who the dog had suspected. It was a simple method, but it worked flawlessly. While there had been only one or two false calls over the years, the sniffer dogs would more often than not correctly identify illegal substances or banned items. They were an essential part of the security team and Manny would not have been able to run an effective and useful security force without them. But one day, something happened that no one expected, not even the dogs themselves. In fact, when Manny and his colleagues opened up a case, they were shocked by what they saw. The day started as any other did. Manny arrived at work early, around 4 a.m. He made himself a coffee in the office and chatted with a few of his friends and colleagues. He always found it good to stay on good terms with everyone that he worked with. After draining his piping hot caffeinated beverage, Manny headed over to the kennels, where he retrieved several sniffer dogs. He spent 10 minutes or so playing fetch with them and giving them a fuss. They might have been highly trained animals that had a job to do, but they were still dogs at the end of the day that loved attention. He then walked three of the dogs back to his colleagues and handed two over to them. Manny kept the third, a well-trained dog who almost never made any mistakes. Looking at the clock, he realized it was time for the security team to get out there and do a sweep of the airport, checking everything was ship-shape and safe. So, off they set. Manny and his dog took the left-hand side of the concourse, while his two colleagues and their dogs took the middle and right-hand side. As they walked, the dogs sniffed at the passing passengers. Manny would smile and wave at people, and even stopped every so often to let a curious child stroke the dog for a moment. It wasn't strictly allowed, but Manny knew that if you wanted to do a good job, you have to keep the public on your side. And besides, the dogs always loved attention. All of a sudden though, Manny's dog started to pull on the lead. 
It wasn't often that he did such a thing, and Manny knew that when that happened, he should just let go and see where the dog runs to. So that's exactly what he did. Swerving through the people hurrying to catch their flights or check in, the dog stopped at a huge, unattended case. That's when he began to bark. An unusual sign, Manny caught up only several seconds after and studied the luggage as the dog continuously barked and yelped. It was as if they were trying to tell Manny something that they had not trained for. The dog sat and pointed with his nose, but continued to bark. On and on it went, echoing around the airport. The other dogs soon approached, and they too started acting in a strange and unusual way, as if they could also sense there was something highly unusual in the luggage. Manny immediately realized that the case was unattended and made sure that no one came near it. It could be a bomb. Airports were prime targets for terrorists who wanted to hurt people, so it wouldn't have totally shocked Manny. But something told him that it wasn't explosives in there. The dog was acting far too strangely for that. His continuous loud barking told Manny that there was something within the supersized case that he needed to see. So he and his colleagues wheeled the luggage to an office and lifted it onto the table. It certainly weighed a lot, but now was the moment of truth. They were all about to see what it was that was in there and what had set off the dog's constant and incessant barking. Opening up the case, Manny stepped back a little in surprise. He cast his eyes over the contents and then quickly shut it again, turning to one of his colleagues and asking him to contact the local animal shelter. You see, within that case were a thousand rare turtles, 43 iguanas, a gecko, and even a python worth an estimated $150,000. This was by no means the kind of thing that Manny nor any of his security team were used to dealing with. Within an hour, the animal shelter team were on the scene, carefully documenting the many animals within the case. Sadly, some were dead, but thankfully many had survived and just needed a little care and attention. It was nothing short of a miracle that the python, the iguanas, and the geckos were still alive. The security team scoured the airport for the owner of the case, but there was no one to be seen. They checked the security footage and identified the man who had wheeled the huge case into the airport. It appeared that he had seen the security team and the sniffer dogs making their way around the passengers, become spooked, and fled, abandoning the massive case. Moments later, security footage picked up the dog running up to it and starting to continuously bark. Thankfully, for most of the animals, the story has a happy ending. They were taken back to the shelter and nursed back to health, at which point they would be given to a sanctuary that would be able to look after them and help them thrive. Who knows where they might have ended up had they not been intercepted. But what's for sure is that it wouldn't have been anywhere good. And as for many, well, that was certainly a day at work that he would never forget. So now it's over to you. What do you think of this incredible story? How would you have reacted if you'd have made such an incredible and unusual discovery in a suitcase? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.